I'm Richard Roper, and coming up, 16 movies I'm really looking forward to seeing in 2016. Are you okay, man? I gotta pee. Here's what I've been looking forward to ever since the nonfiction book came out. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot is based on Kim Barker's book about her time as a reporter covering Afghanistan and Pakistan in the 2000s. Now, when the book first came out, the New York Times actually said that Barker, as a nonfiction character, was kind of like Tina Fey covering the war. Now the movie's coming out, and guess who's playing Kim Barker? That's right, Tina Fey. Hail Caesar has all the makings of a classic Coen Brothers comedy. It's set in the 1950s, and George Clooney plays a Hollywood fixer. He's the guy who comes in when there's a scandal and makes sure it doesn't get out to the public. Sounds like it could be hilarious. The shorthand for the girl on the train is it looks like it could be this year's Gone Girl. Like that film, this is based on a mega-selling novel that people were just gobbling up in one sitting. This is a murder mystery with a lot of twists and turns. I've read the book. I don't want to say anything about it. I'm just going to say I hope the movie lives up to the book. Emily Blunt and Rebecca Ferguson, who was so good in the last Mission Impossible movie, star in this one. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is about, well, Pride and Prejudice with zombies. Come on! Here's a fantastical film in the making, the BFG. He's a big, friendly giant. What did you think I was going to say? Well, the fanboys and fangirls are really excited about Deadpool. Now, we saw a glimpse of Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool character in one of the previous Wolverine movies, but this time, Deadpool is front and center. I'm also looking forward to Silence. This is Martin Scorsese's off-delayed project about two priests who travel to Japan in search of their mentor and find themselves in a world of hurt. Andrew Garfield, Adam Driver, and Liam Neeson star. I know how much Bucky means to you. Stay out of this one. Please. you only make this worse. You saying you'll arrest me? Another Marvel Adventure Universe specialty, Captain America Civil War. But here's what I like about this one. In this film, the Avengers have split into two factions and they're actually on opposing sides. So it's Captain America versus Iron Man. Should be awesome. Here's a sequel a long time in the making. Finding Dory comes out 13 years after the wonderful Pixar classic, Finding Nemo. But the story itself is set just six months after Nemo's adventures and now, Ellen DeGeneres' Dory is front and center. Well, you may have heard a little bit about the reboot of Ghostbusters. A lot of people said they should have just left the classic alone, but I like the idea of an all-female lead cast, including Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy. Paul Feig is directing. So, we have high hopes for this one. A lot of the original stars are going to make cameos as well. Who hasn't been freaked out by that photo of Jared Leto as the Joker in Suicide Squad? This is essentially a comic book version of The Dirty Dozen, about a bunch of characters who are on death row, but get a chance at freedom if they can save the world. War Machine stars Brad Pitt. This is the real life story of General Stanley McChrystal, who was a great military leader, but got bounced after he gave an interview in Rolling Stone in which he was far too critical of certain administration members. Sully is another A-list adaptation of real life events. Clint Eastwood directs, and this is perfect casting. Who should play Captain Sully Sullenberger? Remember the captain who landed the plane in the Hudson and all the passengers were out on the wings? Who could play Sully? Tom Hanks, of course. La La Land is writer-director Damien Chazelle's follow-up to Whiplash. Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, who have already appeared in a couple of movies together, are reunited once again. He's a jazz pianist. She's an aspiring actress. I wonder if there's going to be any love here. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is one of the coolest ideas I've ever heard for a book and now for a movie. This is the movie version of a textbook that was once owned by one Harry Potter. Now the story actually takes place 70 years before the adventures of Harry Potter and it's set in New York City. That kind of power is very dangerous. the most anticipated movie of 2016 and way up there on my list, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. We're all dying to see what's going to happen when Batman is against Superman. Who wins? We do!